All right, moving on. Let's uh, install Samba. Um, let's clear our screen here. Ah, oh, come on. Okay, let's clear our screen. And to install Samba, let's uh, first of all update. See if there's any updates. Sudo apt update. And we fetched something. Long tail. All packages are up to date. Uh, so we need to do sudo apt install. Wait, install Samba. Yes. There you go, Ubuntu is installed in Samba. Now I'm gonna pause the video here till it's done. And I'll come back. All right, now it's done installing. So what we need to do um, is go to, let's make a directory, okay? So what we're gonna do is mkdir this is a command for making directory slash home and again I apologize for typing slow because I'm holding the mic on one hand and the other hand I'm I'm trying to type Samba let's press Samba <laughs> Samba share okay this command will create a folder named Samba share in our home directory so which we will use later so that's done so the next thing we want to do is configure uh, our Samba share config file which we do that by um, I like using VI so I'm gonna use VI uh, so actually do sudo VI it's under ATC under etc samba slash smb smb.conf.conf okay all right so this is our samba config and what you want to do is come all the way at the bottom go keep going keep going And right here at the bottom, we can put our Samba share on here. So I to insert, and we start with the square brackets and call this Samba share. Samba share. Close those brackets. Uh, let's tap over here. Actually, let's just use spaces and try to align it with the others and put the comment here I put a comment equals Samba on media server okay so why is the path uh, next one we put in the path path equals slash home slash bob that's remember that's our username slash samba share samba share okay now let's give it some read and write functions so read only um, we're gonna put that as no for now um, yeah, I mean, read now. Y read only, no, you, you want to write files. That's what I, want, I meant to say. So for browsable, browsable, is that how you spell browsable? No. Browse, oh, how do you spell brow? Not browse. Hmm. Uh, so 
equals yes. I don't know why that's not working. Browsable, browsable. I spelled it wrong. That is uh, e actually right here. There we go. I could have just looked up at the top and seen what it is. Now, since that is done, you want to press the escape key again. Uh, colon W Q exclamation mark, and your file is written. So, what we've just added was a Samba share. That's the name of the folder. Uh, the name inside the brackets is the name of our share, which is Samba share. Uh, we put a brief description of what the name of the share was. Is that Samba on media? media server and then the path to our share and then permissions for read only to m to modify the contents of the share is granted when the value of the directive is no so if we put yes over there you will be able to write to it and then the browsable was set to yes with uh, so file managers such as ubuntu i mean since the file managers such as linux distros like ubuntu you know they will be able to list shares on the network or the Mac OS or Windows so you know th th that's the short thing we could do that now I don't even know what I'm saying sorry about that that's how you just configure your share your folder on Samba so now let's uh, do one last thing which is to restart the Samba service so service sudo service S M B D restart restart all right and we press enter and that's it actually no that's not it we <laughs> we need to do something else uh, like probably setting up user accounts and stuff so how we're gonna do this is um, let's clear the screen here for a second uh, give us some room Here. So we want to set up an account. Since Samba doesn't use a system account password, we need to set up a Samba password for our user account. And how we do that is we do sudo smb password passwd uh, dash a. Our name is Bob as a username, so you're gonna put your username over there. So the new password you enter it. Okay, there we go. I think you enter it twice. Yep. So our use Bob is added uh in the Samba share. So now if you are connecting from a Ubuntu server this is what you would write on your uh, on your mm, open up you know when you open up your file manager and then click connect to server this is what you would put smb forward forward you know the IP address of your server which this case would be one you know ninety two dot one fifty eight dot seven dot adi whatever number it is and then you would put another forward slash the name of your directory you know you could have named this something else so I'm just using Samba share for now and if you hit that then you'll be able to connect to the Samba so on a Mac OS you would go to finder and then click on the menu and then click go and then connect to Samba then enter the same thing you've done over there so I mean this is pretty basic so you know uh, uh, that's it I mean <laughs> there's nothing else to it so thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for the next video